these kinds of speeches, typically you talk about that moment when you realize these two were meant to be. Well, I didn't have that moment because instead I had this moment where I realized that Kirsten and I were meant to be best friends and sisters. Now, not only do I call my brother my best friend, but now I call my new sister my best friend as well. They have the ability to make you feel like family in a matter of, of moments. Rory's always been a good person, but with Kirsten, he's a different person. He's a better person, and Kirsten brought that out of him. Um, being in a fraternity helped Rory grow into like a man, but meeting Kirsten made Rory the man. You're so happy with Rory, and Rory, um, with my relationship with Kirsten, um, I've gone to know you as well, and it's such an amazing um, relationship, and I'm so happy for you. But, uh, I'm just so happy you guys met each other. Uh, can't wait to see you guys both tie the knot tomorrow, and I couldn't be happy for both of you. I love you guys, and here's a toast to you guys. I don't think there's another man on the planet better for you than Rory. I have witnessed time and time again how crazy you are about Kirsten and how willing you are to do anything for her. And let me tell you, as an older sister, there's nothing better than knowing that your little sister is going to be well taken care of. I am so glad that I don't have to get used to or accept the man Kirsten is marrying. I love the man that Kirsten's marrying and I am thrilled that I now can finally call you my brother. I have no idea. I was like, this. <laughs> if the theme of my speech had been this, why marry Kirsten, it would be the easiest speech ever. I mean, look at her. She's, com she's the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. She knows how to love completely selfless and leaves <laughs> water on your pillow after a long night of drinking at the Sandpiper. I can say with sincere honesty, Rory, that you are one of the luckiest men alive. There is no doubt that Rory has always been the man, but Kirsten, you have certainly made him better. You've always had my back, and I'll always have yours. Through the bad times, through the good, I know I can count on you. I love you both from the bottom of my heart. You are family to me, and I wish you a long, beautiful, and happy life together. Kirsten Elizabeth Anderson, you have always been an incredible blessing in my life. I am so grateful to the Lord for blessing me beyond what I deserve and gifting you, the person I desperately needed. When you and I first met the summer of our freshman year, I quickly realized there was no one else I'd rather spend my time with. Rory, you are my perfect match. You are my soulmate and the man my parents prayed for relentlessly since I was a young girl. You are the man that I adore and respect and a friend I look up to. You are so amazingly caring and kind. I've never met someone whose happiness centers more around serving others than you. What I love most about you is your kind heart. You taught me how to love in a way that I never knew before, in a quiet, generous love that surrounds a person. You have shown me what it means to love the Lord. Your faithfulness and longing to know and share Christ is the most beautiful thing about you. You are unwavering and authentic. You lead with confidence in every aspect of your life. I will always love you, and I will always be by your side. And finally, I promise to look back at this day and this moment 
and the unconditional, fierce, wild love that I have for you. I love you with all my heart. But there's a full moon rising. Let's go dancing in the You have both so much to contribute to each other and to the world. Go forward with the confidence that together you will successfully confront the challenges that will come your way. Celebrate together life events, weather the storms, especially enjoy those wonderful moments that bring you joy. May you and Rory experience God's abundant love and balance grace in your marriage today and always. Cakes in a row. Cheers. Oh. So